coming along. Nice to see you again. I wondered how your first day was going. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. <laughs> Professional like that. I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Mm. Jealous much. Black noted the scuff on his sleeve the other day. And then the werewolves joined the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. Rebellion. The Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. All right. No, it Three, oh, well, two, one. Say my goodbyes. Uh, I should hear the voice. Says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flat? I don't understand these. Stop it, Peeves! You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a smack. She says it's a Boot, and he says it's a Flat. Peeves, enough! You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Black. I, you're all in trouble. I don't understand. Whatever. <laughs> I did it. Rebellion. I like them better. Mm -mm -mm. Oh God. Mm. It's like shows all my hair in there. It's actually pretty sick. I like that one a lot. Alright, cool. To the next class. Master. Revelios. I love how they run. Brenton. One of them kids at like every school that just has to run through the halls to every class. Like they're always late. to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. Damn, that's it was cold. It's a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. <laughs> To the wise, age matters very little. 
Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Easy. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Why are you singling me out? What did I ever do? Let us begin with a basic cost. Oh no. My frames. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, it's good. Now, well done. I'm a natural. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> Man, I'm gonna wipe the floor with you. Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. Man, you see me just juggling this kid? Just fucking smoked him. You give as good as you get. I put you on the spot. And you rose to the challenge. Points or points. Let's Thank do you, it. Professor Hecate. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. Another I successful class. Was quite something. Ooh. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. Oh, no it wasn't. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Me? Little old me? Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon.
Perhaps I'm sure. Unsanctioned. We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Mm, not really. Until next time. <laughs> Oh, I'm not much for dueling. I prefer to keep things friendly. Pussy. 